Mad and Raya Hard. Uh, it's Rowan, and I am going to uh, tell you uh, why being short is great and why being a short guy is terrible. I was inspired uh, to do this one by Orphea333. She is apparently a young woman about six feet tall, and she did a video about being a tall lady, and so I asked her in a comment, you know, if she'd uh, be okay if I did a, did a companion piece of sorts. Similar to how she introduced her video, I am quite short. I am 4 feet and 11 inches tall. That works out to 59 inches, and... I don't know, but I do... I don't know what that is in centimeters, but I do know that one inch is 2.52 centimeters. As a thing to compare it to, the average American-born uh, man for the same ration I was born is about five foot eight and a half. The average American woman from a comparable generation bracket as mine is five foot three and a half. So all of you ladies out there who are five foot three, you're not that short. All of you ladies out there who are five foot two, you're not that short either. <laughs> I am short. I I'm very short. Now to compare with the rest of my family, my father was five foot four. His sister Judy is Four foot nine. <laughs> uh, his younger sister Karen, she is about five foot four, just like my father was, and their sister Loretta was five foot ten, just like my younger sister was, and my elder half sister on my father's side, she's about five six ish. My mother was in the area of. Five four, five five. I think my eldest half sister on my mother's side was in the area of about five foot three. I want to say, and out of my immediate family, that's everybody I know. Yes, I included my father's sisters because I grew up with his younger sister in our household a lot. Uh, yeah, I am. I am one of the shorter members of my family. That's okay. I'm actually okay with it. I'm one of the few people I know, or at least know of, who is under five feet tall and is actually fairly cool with that. At least I'm no longer as short as I used to be. I was a little under four foot nine for eight and a half, for eight and three quarters until sometime shortly after my 19th birthday, and the reason I know that is I'd lost my state ID, and I went to the Michigan Secretary of State to get it replaced. I put down on my little um, info thing that they had me fill out um, that I was four foot nine, um, four foot eight, four foot nine-ish. I don't remember if I rounded down or rounded up. And the uh, and the woman behind the counter when I got when I got my number called, she said you know that I looked taller than four foot. Let's just say four nine. And she said I looked taller than four nine. And so I went up to the little thing to prove to her that I was still four foot nine. But no, I'd shot up a couple of inches. And that's fairly common for a lot of people in their early tw uh, you know up to about the age of about twenty five, thereabouts. Uh, a lot of people shoot up another couple of inches. It has to do with when the long bones in your legs and arms are are, are done setting. Uh, so, you know, you don't actually complete puberty physically or even mentally until you're actually about in your mid twenties. But there's your there's your little biology lesson. So the uh, let's let's start with a pro since I did say I actually enjoy it. <laughs> uh, is I can get away with wearing ladies' jeans and shoes, and the reason for this is is that 
even when somebody is uh, correctly interpreting my appearance as male enough, they just take one look at me and they're just like, yeah, yeah, you're you're not a pervert. You're just very short. Not saying that wearing ladies' clothes does make you a pervert, but I'm just saying that that's what some people do think. Uh, and so let's go with the complimentary con. Is when I have to alter clothes, it actually does take a lot more than simply cutting off a couple inches and hemming it. I can sort of get away with that on jeans and slacks to a certain extent, but depending on the cut and the style, like, if I just did that, like, the waistband would be nearly up to my chest. Or, you know, if the waist does sit on me right, the crotch hangs way too low, and I'm not that hung. Men's shirts. I have a few men's shirts that I just love, but I've gotten just a bit old enough that, like, I love these dress shirts. I have a beautiful uh, black and purple striped Calvin Klein shirt that I just love. It, it fits me on the neck perfectly. The length is adequate. It's the arms. It's the arms. The arms do me every time. And I've gotten to a point where I've had this shirt about 10 years-ish, thereabouts, maybe 13, something like that. I've had it a long time. And while it is still in perfectly wearable condition, I'm at a point where I love it, but I don't love wearing it because while I could roll up the sleeves, I can't wear it with a nice jacket that way, you know? It's no longer a dress shirt when you do that. I could, you know, take up the arms a little bit, but that just leaves a whole lot that would need to, like, the arms, the sleeves need, would need to be completely restructured for it to fit me properly. And I'm at a point where, as much as I love it, I, I think I just have to let it go, because it will never fit me right. And that was okay with me at one point. And then I realized that e either way, I, I, you know, like, no matter what I can do to my own abilities to alter this to fit right, I will look in a, like a little boy in daddy's clothes. I, I, I look like a child playing dress-up when I wear adult men's clothes. And that's awful. Like, I, I have, I'm pretty much stuck wearing t-shirts and ladies' clothing, and occasionally I can find something amongst the little boys' clothes that kind of fits. It's... I, I can't be an adult. I can't dress like one anyway. So, speaking of sizing, another pro is... I actually feel like a normal-sized person in antique furniture. I've dated a couple of guys who are much taller than me, to say the least. And Scott, Scott, I love Scott. I love Scott dearly. He's one of my best friends. Uh, when he comes over, he doesn't really like to sit down um, here. Like, we like to go somewhere else because he is too big for my furniture, whereas I feel like a normal-sized person. Isaac was, you know, too tall to lay down comfortably on my couch. It fits me great. Um, and I've got a couple other friends who, you know, just th think that, you know, my, my furniture is beautiful and it looks amazing, but they sit in it and it's clear that it doesn't fit them the way that it fits me. And there's a reason for that, is that, yes, uh, especially since the boom of factory farming, which is unfortunate in many ways, but in others it means that a lot of people can get really good nutrition, especially uh, calcium and proteins and iron and all of that, and so 
people have indeed been getting taller for the last, at least last century and a half. So that's nice, but it does mean that there's a lot of beautiful antique furniture that ends up going to museums and going to stage design or used as props and all of that or it just or it just ends up being junked because there are a lot of people who don't feel that they can fit in it nicely but I can and that's nice uh, but speaking of furniture and housewares and all of that, one of my cons is that I have ladders to do nearly everything. There are shelves in my closet that I can't get to without a ladder, but I need to use those shelves because I, I have a lot of stuff. I need to put it away sometimes. There are shelves in my kitchen cabinets that I cannot get to without a ladder. I can't get to the top of my fridge without a ladder. <laughs> I can't water some of my plants without a ladder because I've run out of surfaces to put the plants down on. So I've turned to the ceilings. But, like, half the guys I've dated could probably water my plants without a ladder. Oh well. <laughs> Another pro is, as a short man, I have small hands, even. Like, even roughly proportionate to my frame. I, I just, I have small, I have small hands, I have small feet. My feet are a UK 5, which is a US men's 6 wide, or a US ladies 7, 7.5 thereabouts. Um... I can kind of fake it sometimes because I do need a wider shoe with a UK 6 men's 7 or a ladies 8, 8.5 thereabouts. But uh, most comfortably, I'm a US men's 6 wide or a UK 5. I also have small hands, and one of the great things is, as a gay man, no guy I'm with will ever feel inadequate when I'm giving a handy. That's just how it is. You know, that's just how it is. Small person, small hands. Average sized wiener looks big. Or at least bigger. <laughs> Unfortunately, as a gay man, I get a lot of rejections just based on my height alone. And that sucks. It really does. I'm like, what? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to date a guy to double my wardrobe. I, <laughs> right? I just, I don't know. It sucks. It really does. On the good side, I've dated a lot of bisexual guys, but... Uh, another plus is I can fit inside a clothes dryer. Not the one in my building just yet. That's a little bit too close uh, in size to your standard uh, home dryer, which I would need to lose another 40 pounds before I could comfortably fit back inside of it. But the, uh, but the ones at the laundromat that I've been to recently, like even the mid-sized ones at the laundromat, not the smallest ones there. That's, again, like what we've got in this building, but the mid-sized ones... You know, in addition to the largest ones, I can fit right inside. I can fit right inside, just bring my knees up and sit in there right inside because I'm short. And you can't do that when you're over five foot four at the most. And even then, it depends on the dryer. But like I said, in another three stone, to after I lose another three stone, I can demonstrate I will get into the dryer in my building and I and you will see it on Instagram. I have three more stone to go. Three more. But while we're talking about putting things in things, ah, uh, one of the cons is that I have seriously been to uh, club nights and bars where people think they're being funny and they will 
balance their drink on top of my head, or lean over with their elbow on top of my head. And I understand that they're probably drunk and they think they're funny when they're doing this, but I will goddamn bite your kneecaps off. Don't think I won't. My face is right there. <laughs> Another pro is I can spoon with my cat. I, you know, not, not sexually or anything, but there have been many a times when I'm lying in bed and, okay, I'm, I'm using Nigel as the example because he is the largest cat. His groomer calls, calls him my illegal panther cub because he is, he, he, he is, I've got pictures on Instagram. This, this cat, like, overflows my lap and he's not fat. He's, he's a big boy. There have been times where I've woken up pretty much spooning with the cat because he's laying down next to me and I'm usually a side sleeper and he lays down next to me and his head is like up around here and his body's all like stretched out and all of that and I can spoon with my cat and now that sounds a lot sadder than it did for a second there. Another con is that, speaking of boyfriends, after all, Nigel does seem to think he's my boyfriend. It's really disturbing sometimes. He likes to watch. Uh, my human boyfriends have always had the most uncreative nicknames for me. And pet names and all that. Uh, let's see, Scott called me the Hobbit. Uh, Byron called me short stack frequently enough. Isaac called me a leprechaun. That was that was actually different. Uh, and one last con, though it doesn't bother me quite as much anymore is when my the last time my hair was fairly short, nobody thought I was over 13, 14 years old until they saw the tattoos on my arms and even then, it's, like, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not a teenager. But with my hair longer, I am regularly mistaken for a woman. And that's, that's about all I've got right now. If you yourself are quite short, feel free to leave a comment in the, in, in that section where, about what you love and what you hate. If you are tall and you want to do the same, go to Orphea's video and do that there and check her stuff out. Got a lot of uh, tall people solidarity there. Let's get some short people solidarity here, especially with the goths. Oh, that's another thing is, uh, that's another con, at least in my case, is I am physically incapable of walking in heels, which is really annoying because I I've I've had a couple of pairs of heels that I've really that I really love but I think I have to get rid of them. Like, this is the closest I have to high heels is this little thing. This is like barely this isn't even 2 inches. I th I think maybe an inch and a half, inch and 3 quarters. I mean these are one of my favorite pairs of shoes, but this is the highest I can wear my heels. I am I am physically incapable. I I've sprained my ankle far too many times to be able to walk in heels and it kind of drives me bananas sometimes because sometimes I just want a little extra height. But I can't have it. I can't. I can't. And that is how I failed as a drag queen. Severely failed as a drag queen due to my inability to walk in heels. I I I really stood out amongst all of them, all of the Lansing Queens, though, when I competed in their drag race a uh, couple years, which is not, which is really, like, it, it's really a feat to stand out amongst other drag queens, though, in my case, I was standing out because with heels, everybody else was almost twice as tall as me. So you get the group photo going, and it's like, you know, 6'9", 6'4", 6'17", blah, 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 blah. 
just around five feet. But only in these shoes. <laughs> so if you enjoyed that, feel free to hit the like or the dislike as you feel appropriate. If you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe and the bell notifications if you want to come back and have your phone scream at you for when I make more internet nonsense. And if you want to just hurl obscenities at me in the comments or on my Discord server, please keep in mind that I feel no qualms about deleting especially abusive comments, so... um. That is that is all up to you how you want to uh, partake in the fabulous freaky family that we've got going around here. And with all of that said, bats and kisses, dares, and I do love you. And oh, please take care of yourselves. And uh, and slan goodbye. Say bye to Nigel. Nigel. Does Nigel want to say goodbye? Does he? Maybe. Say hi to Nigel. We love our Nigel. He's so beautiful. <laughs>